Hi, I'm Ann Skinner, and this is Molly McGee, and we're the Skinner team with Keller Williams Realty in beautiful Summit County, Colorado. We've taken just a couple months off from our Market Stats videos as I welcomed a new baby boy into the family, but now we're back just to share a little bit more about what's been going on in the Summit County real estate market for June, July, and August of 2018. The information that we're going to share with you guys comes from the Summit County MLS, which covers Frisco, Breckenridge, Silverthorne, Dillon, Keystone, Copper Mountain, and Blue River. This information is not shared with the common MLS to Colorado, so if you're thinking of buying or selling in this area, it's really important that you work with a local expert to get all the best results. So in June, we saw the peak of our new listings at 304 new listings hitting the market. That is pretty standard as June is historically the month that we've seen the most listings come on. In August, we actually had the most closings at 199. Now that's pretty typical because our normal closing cycle takes about 45 days from the time that a property goes under contract until it actually closes. So those properties that were hitting the market in June are likely closing in August. Interestingly, we have been seeing a little bit, a few more listings hit the market than our actually selling, which means that our listings are outpacing our solds, increasing our inventory just a little bit. That peak number of sales also coincides with the peak sales price at about $865,500. We also saw kind of an interesting moment with the gap growing between the amount that the property was listed for and the price that it actually sold for. Again, all those properties went under contract in May, June, and July, most likely if they were closing there in August. And so it meant that buyers had quite a bit of power during those months and sellers probably had to be a little more willing to negotiate in order to get their property under contract. Despite the fact that we saw a larger gap between the sale price and the list price, we did actually see shorter days on market. Normally, shorter days on market would indicate to us that it's a seller's market. However, when you combine these two things together, the sales price to list price ratio, as well as the days on market, this might actually speak a little bit more to consumer confidence. If sellers are starting to get a little bit nervous that prices are hitting their absolute peak, as well as the fact that there's more inventory on the market, then they're quick to jump at the first offer and negotiate that one and make sure it goes under contract right away so it doesn't sit on the market too long. So in this slightly better buyer condition, we are seeing more negotiations happen, but in a slightly shorter frame of time. It's been nice to have you guys here to go over the numbers with us. If you ever do have questions about this or need any real estate help here in Summit County, please reach out to me, Molly, at 970-308-3217. Or you can contact me, Ann Skinner, at 970-389-6987. Or find us online anywhere at COMTN Realty. Thanks.